my name is Ann McKinney. I've lived in Madison for 36 years and I love it here. I turned 80 years old two weeks ago. It's easy for older adults to feel isolated. That's why I love 50 Forward. And this morning, I'm heading to the Beep and Greet. The goal of 50 Forward and 50 Forward Madison Station is really to support, champion, and enhance the lives of older adults. The way we do that is we provide innovative programming to help older adults lead more active and fulfilling lives. 50 Forward provides a fantastic resource for uh, the seniors in, in coming together. First of all, we are a place. We are almost like a home away from home, family away from family. I have no family in Tennessee, but I come here to the center and we're all like family. I think what makes 50 Forward Madison Station really special is our members. Whether they're shooting pool or, or making puzzles in the back room or exercising, it's just a form of community that I see. So it's a place for people to come together and they make friends and that's what I've seen over and over and over again are friendships. <laughs> this is my friend Libby. We laugh so much here at the center and um, I just look forward to it, you know, every single day. I've made a lot of friends and it's a, such a big variety of people. Yeah. I like the diversity here, a lot of neat people. I am just always so impressed by how caring and compassionate our members are. She's my eyes and I'm her memory, so that's how we go together. So if you're gone a day, you hear other people say, hey, I didn't see you, where were you? Checking in on them. We have a lot of members who like to just bring books and read or, or listen to music. It is the activity they're doing, but on top of that, the friendship. We plan usually six to seven trips a month. One of my favorites is when we go to the Frist or the Tennessee Museum, and then we go uh, have lunch. Some Chris Winery. Yeah, she got thrown out of there. <laughs> <laughs> when COVID-19 hit, of course, the overall messaging was to stay home and isolate, especially for our demographic of older adults. What can we do, right? Because right away, there we had to stop everything. Can't be true. I wish we didn't have to close. <laughs> Yeah. So that was a really interesting moment for us because a big part of our mission is to prevent social isolation in older adults. I'm retired and it's it's become my family and my the center. So when it, it's not here, it's really sad. If we are isolated, you know, our mental, physical, emotional health tend to decline. And we already feel like we don't matter, so we don't need all that. We all want to know that somebody knows that we're here or, um, and, and that we're cared for. Yeah, 54, we did a, they did a great job of, of adapting. With the front yard chats um, was another idea of, you know, if you, you can't get to us on a beep and greet day, let's come to you. So to be able to see a familiar face and just catch up with someone is really special to them. And honestly, it's it's just as special to us. It's wonderful when they come and do that. The, the last time that Heather came, she came and spent 45 minutes at my house just talking. And we just sit and, and chat with them for, you know, as long as we can. And It was wonderful. We, I really liked it and I really appreciate the folks here. I think this time has made us understand that ingredient for connection so much more. We were doing member calls on a daily basis. We were delivering food to those in need. Well, when we closed, they couldn't come here to get lunch, so we switched it up and we started taking meals to them. We now have set up a new online membership portal where part of that is a new digital video library. There's a directory in which members can now connect with each other. Um, that is not a platform that we've had before. 
We looked for these unique ways to still gather people together. We wanted to bring people back together um, as best we could, so we came up with a beep and greet. Uh, we're here for the uh, 50 forward beep and greet. Beep and greet and free pie, honey. We're setting up different uh, tents and uh, folks are driving through and, and having a quick little visit with each of us. Hi. How are you all? Good to see other members and we honk our horns. Have a little bit of fellowship. Now we're so a little bit too, Dora. I know. This may be one of the biggest events of their day or their week. It's just a chance to say hi and, and uh, see the people that, that I miss. While we don't know exactly what the future holds, we do know that we will be with our members and be by their side along the way. They really love us and we love them. I mean, it's that, that's just part of it. That is what makes 50 Forward and 54 Madison Station a magical place.